Heaven, while you come here together in this church, that the Lord may seal and strengthen the love that you have for each other. You gotta have the presence of myself as a representative of our church family. In the presence of Adam and holy witnesses, the presence of the family, the friends of the people who love you so much. The presence of God Himself, God has seen this moment from all eternity. God has wanted this moment from all eternity. God rejoices in heaven to see this moment unfold here on earth. He first consecrated you to a life of love in your baptism, and called you through all these sacraments to be nurtured in love. And now comes the best of all, the most beautiful sacrament, where you can give and exchange this love in a mutual and lasting fidelity. So in the presence of God's church, I ask you to state your intention. Heather and Paul, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. And will you love and honor one another as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. And will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the vision of Jesus and his church? Yes. Since it's your intention to enter into marriage, I you to turn and face each other as you join hands, declaring your consent for God, for his family, for the church. I call, I call, take you better to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I am, take you, Paul, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You've declared your consent before God for his people, the church. On behalf of all who are present, I witness these vows. I pray that God will fill your consent with the richest of his blessings. For what Almighty God has joined together, there is no power on earth that can divide. Amen. Paul and Heather have chosen a very beautiful ritual, <coughs> which will culminate in the blessing of their hands eventually in the blessing of the rings, which will remind their hands that their hands truly are blessed this day. Blessed as instruments of healing, blessed as instruments of love, blessed as instruments that will show God's love as they hold and, and take one another into their arms always and forever to the day of eternity. So Hannah, as you face Paul, I'd like you just to hold his hands in yours and look at those strong, wonderful hands and see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend. Young, strong, vibrant with love. And these are the hands holding yours on your wedding day as he promises to love you all the days of his life. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future as you laugh, as you cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands you will place with expected joy against your stomach until he too feels his child stir within you. These are the hands that look so large, so strong, and will be so gentle as he holds your baby for the very first time. These are the hands that will work long hours for you and your new family. These are the hands that will passionately love you, cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness, hold you in fear or have grief, rock your mind. These are the hands that will 
Send the lady up to your chin. Brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into his eyes. Eyes that are filled completely with overwhelming, overwhelming love and pure desire for you. And so now, Paul, I'd like you to take Heather's hands into yours and look at those beautiful, delicate hands. See what a gift those hands are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, smooth, young, carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day. She pledges her love and, and commitment to you all the days of her life. These are the hands that will hold each child with tender love and soothing them through illness and hurt. These are the hands supporting and encouraging your child along the way. These are the hands that will massage tension from your neck and back in the evenings after you've had a long day at work. They're the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. The hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you're grieving. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will hold you in joy and excitement and hope each time that she tells you that you want to have a child and together you create a new life. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase down your dreams. A team forged together this day. Everything you wish for can be realized. These are the hands I now bless. The hands of holy natural the hands up of the instruments and signs of your interior love. As now, I bless these rings, which you will now wear on these hands that are blessed. Hands that are consecrated now to the hands of giving. Hands that are blessed to the hands of embracing. May these rings always remind your hands that your hands are truly instruments of God. Hands are handy. United now, and nothing will ever divide. Until the very day of eternity itself. Amen. Amen. I'm finished. <clears throat> Take this one. Take this ring, Paul, as a sign of my love and fidelity. 